This is Lama Tantrapa. Welcome to winter. We have got several inches close to a foot of snow in Portland, Oregon. Normally we don't get even that much snow, but this winter, boy, we've got some serious white powder here. And I would like to share with you my method for warming up, even in cold climate and cold weather like today. Being a Tibetan Lama, I'm intimately familiar with Tibetan Tumo practice, which is the Tibetan Qigong practice dedicated to warming up and generating inner heat. But of course there are other applications of Tumo beyond that. What I'm going to share with you today is a simplified method for doing something like that. And you will be able to enjoy it if you feel cold under pretty much any circumstances. So. Let's begin by simply jumping and landing softly. Simply jump and land, allowing your feet to land wherever they land. Trust the feet know where to land, at what distance from each other to land, and even the angle between the feet. So that they're not pointing directly forward, they're actually slightly angling to the sides. And the next thing we're going to do is simply bring the hands together applying just a minimal amount of pressure between them in the prayer leg position. And start squatting. That's right. We're going to do a slow squat. I'm going to count from 1 to 10. And by the count of 10, I'm going to squat all the way down. And I invite you to do the same. 1. Go slowly bending the knees. 2. You can extend the arms a little bit further forward to counterbalance the weight of your torso. Three. Keep the spine streamlined, even though it may tilt a little bit forward. Four. Go slowly, especially between the counts of four and seven. Five. Here the knees are about 90 degrees bent, which is the toughest position. Six, seven, eight, keep the heels on the ground, nine, and ten. Now I squat it all the way down, and I'm already getting warm, so I'm going to start slowly coming back up, also on the count from one to ten. And I invite you to do the same, going as slowly as feasible for you. One. That's easy. Slowly come back up. Two. Your legs start feeling a little burning sensations. That's fine. Three. Now you may feel more burning. Four. Now that's where you're going to feel real serious work in your legs. Five. Continue breathing deeply and smoothly. Six. Now go slow. Seven. Slowly come back up. Eight. Nine. And ten. And back up, standing straight. I'm really feeling warm now. So I'm going to start taking my clothes off, if you don't mind. <laughs> and this is a really great exercise if you combine it with uh, uh, some special breathing technique. So, I'm going to continue with one more squat. And I'm getting really warm now. Let's continue doing the same move again, but now on the exhalation, hold your breath for three or four heartbeats before you start inhaling again. One. Let's go slow. Two. You can extend your arms a little bit further forward. Three. Keep your spine straight, although not vertical. 
4 goes slow between 4 and 7, like I mentioned before. 5. This is where you really start feeling the legs shaking and burning. That's okay. 6. Goes slow. 7. Almost there. Feeling warm now. 8. 9, almost there, and 10. Now this is full squat, heels on the ground, and let's come back up also, keeping that slide pause for four heartbeats. Inhale. After you exhale, before you inhale, keep it an exhalation for a little bit. One. Two, slowly come back up, three, now the leg starts shaking, that's fine, four, I'm feeling really warm, five, six, now this is real work, seven, eight, Nine, almost there, and ten. Now I'm feeling really worked up, sweating, and guess what? I'm not cold anymore. So if you can do this in a cold environment, don't make yourself freeze to death. Just start with incremental improvement of your skill. And I guarantee you, as you progress along this path, your practice will make perfect and you will always have the way to warm yourself up even when the weather is as cold as here today. Thank you. Namaste.